Okay guys, we're gonna do a video today of the 104, the Super 104 Hustler. This is gonna be a true 100 hour honest review of the Hustler. There's our guy Jordan. Hey guys. He's the guy that runs this for the most part. So we're gonna let him talk about it and give you his little uh, opinions on it. Here, let's check the hour meter. Yeah guys, when he says 100 hour test, um, I was mowing, I hit 100.0 hours, I shut it off, I called Adam up and I said, hey, you need to get out here, we need to make a 100 hour review just to give you guys the most accurate review possible. So come on in, we'll show you, we'll prove it. Can we see that here? Let me zoom in. There it is, boys. 100 hours on the dot. Okay, here we go. We'll let Jordan do his thing. All right, guys, so uh, I made a list for this because I didn't want to sit here and babble on and take up all your time. So I've got likes and dislikes like any good review should have. And let's get started. Um, my first like about the machine is just the sheer amount of grass that you can mow per hour. Um, you're talking large acreage properties that we're putting down in a fraction of the time of what our 60 inch zero turns can. Um, going along with that, um, this mower um, takes out two 60s and two guys. So instead of showing up to a job with two guys and two mowers, you can show up to that same job with one guy with this mower and you're doing the same amount of work in the same amount of time. Um, another really big like here we're gonna walk around and show you is the accessibility to the moving parts. You know, greasers, belts, pulleys, all that stuff. Super easy, super simple to get to. They really designed that part of the mower well. Um, another really good like that we discovered some real thick grass getting clogged up. You can actually adjust the baffles in the mower to let the grass get out easier. Um, one of the biggest likes that I personally like, because this is my baby and I run it the most, is all the attention from the cars. Um, up where we're at in Indiana, there's not too many of these rolling around and people definitely notice it when they go by and I get a lot of, I get a lot of looks from it. Um, in this first hundred hours, probably the biggest thing that we liked about it, because we run only X Mark, never had anything different. This is our first hustler, is there's been no unexpected maintenance issues, no weird stuff breaking on it, and it's just held up really well for these first hundred hours. Now to the dislike part of the review. Um, I wouldn't say dislike, I would say more need for improvement with the mower itself. Um, my first, my biggest thing on it, because I'm running it every day, uh, is the seat. Um, it does have a really nice uh, grammar suspension seat with isolation. It is a comfortable seat, but we, uh, we find that the uh, Xmark seats are a little more comfortable and it's just one of those things that we'd like to see better um, the main thing about it though is the uh, the weight adjustment to adjust it to your weight uh, the other mowers they just have a turn dial turn it to your weight and you're good to go this one it's kind of complicated to figure out it's not so simple um, the next biggest need for improvement on this big of a machine is the horsepower. Um, it has a 37 horse EFI Vanguard motor, which is a very good motor, a lot of power when it's on a 60 or a 72 inch mower, but with running this extra size and extra mass, it just needs a little more boost and get up, especially in the thick grass. Um, next, this or need for improvement, sorry, is hillside mowing. Uh, these things, they're not fun on the hillsides. Um, I've had to do a couple 
big hillsides with uh, ponds and stuff around them and they're just not fun. They're not really made for it though. So I can, I can see it, but it would be nice if they made it a little bit better, a little more traction under the machine to handle those hillsides. Um, uh, another need for improvement uh, is if they could make it to where you could mow with the wings up or if you need one wing down stuff like that because it is such a big mower it can be hard to fit into places at times so it would be nice if you could convert it to the just the middle deck and mow with that so you don't have to switch machines um, the height adjustment next thing on the list i think it's a real pain uh, it just takes takes forever you gotta lift up the bat wings you gotta lift up the deck you gotta put the pin in there just like any other 60 but then you gotta come out and you actually have to adjust the front and back on both sides of the bat wings and it takes it just takes time it's just not as fast as the other mowers and that's just a little pet peeve that i got with it the stripe quality on the mower it's it's not a striping mower guys um it it's meant to put down grass fast and it just it's not a good not a good mower for striping so we typically use it like where we're at right now we are at on the back side of a factory nobody really comes back here you know you can't see it from the road it's not a big deal if you don't stripe it well so that's where this fits in good um that's pretty much all I got guys um, with that being said if you are contemplating on you know getting one of these versus not um, I hope this helps it's a really good mower uh, we love it a lot it's totally found a place in our lawn care family and it's more maneuverable and more agile than what you would think so that's all I got you got anything else Adam uh, I think you summed it up pretty well. Um, yeah, that's about it, buddy. All right, guys. Uh, we're we also just hit 100 hours today on our X Mark X series with the 72 inch deck. So we're gonna do a review on that one, just like this one went. But we don't have time for that today. We gotta go. Uh, it's it's definitely crunch time, and we're behind. So we'll see you later, guys. Okay. Thanks for watching.